is the plan for this deck is to essentially annoy my opponent. We have cards like Viper, we have cards like Polaris to kind of move the cards around. This is also technically like a disrupted deck, um, but at the same time, it's not, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I am, I guess, just excited to see how this goes. Um, now we do have TVA, which sucks. So, I guess what I want to do is play... Um, yeah, I'm going to have to play Polaris down like... Oh, actually, I'll play it here. And if I lose, then I just lose, you know? Oh, great. What are the odds that he gets Infinite? However, we still win because he played his Ghost Rider down the middle. That negative power from our Green Goblin really saved us and Polaris just clutched up with enough power. So somehow, some way, we ended up winning this. So GG's to them. Oh, so we get the Quantum Tunnel. Very interesting. I haven't seen that since it was featured. So it kind of just works like a lockjaw. So you play a card and then you get another one from your deck, which is going to be so nice because it means you can cycle through a bunch of different cards. Um, this is going to be amazing. Um, next turn I can either go Green Goblin or Polaris. Um, I probably will just drop Polaris. Um, she's not going to do much, but oh, actually, I'm going to go Debris instead kind of annoy my opponent a little bit as he destroys my demon, but that's fine. Um, oh, and we get our daredevil. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I will go Titania and then Green Goblin. Just because Titania will jump over, um, to the other side and essentially, like, fill this guy's lane. And this is basically what we want to do with this deck, is kind of just disrupt my opponent. Like, look at that. We filled their lane with so much. Um. Okay, that's interesting. So, I guess my dead devil's ability doesn't activate because I didn't play him. Um, I did not know that that was a thing, but I guess it is. And I really am just going to try and move my opponent's cards around here. Kind of just annoy them as they hit me for the Spider Woman, but that's fine. Because my Viper is gonna give them my rock and then I get Titania back. Uh, now it is the final turn, and to be honest, I feel like I can snap and probably just drop Spider Woman, and I feel pretty confident in this. Um, if he plays any cards down the middle, he doesn't get my Titania. Um, and like I said, I do feel pretty confident in this. He gives me a green goblin in return. Oh, but then he... Okay, we still win. Barely. That green goblin, I kind of was not expecting it. But, yeah. Um, we win by one power, which is nuts. So, I mean, GG's to them. So the first location we get is Miwa Island. Usually I would play a card here because then over time it would just get increasingly stronger. However, I had Hood and I also have Viper. So Viper will give them my Hood over at Sinister London. Um, I mean Sinister London is such a great location so we can abuse that with debris. Just fill the, um, board with a ton of rocks, which is going to be hilarious, but also annoying. Um, this should be interesting. <laughs> it's definitely going to annoy my opponent a lot, but, um, essentially we're just going to try everything in our power to disrupt them. I can also go Titania and Demon at Sinister London as well, and kind of just annoy them a lot. These are actually three pretty good locations though, so it's very rare that you get locations that are relatively good like that. And this guy just absolutely wipes the board from my rocks, which is, it's fine, he's giving me the thumbs up, but I actually do not mind that. 
as I will go Titania and Demon, and I might as well play Daredevil on the left. I don't really care about the Raft all that much. Oh, but yeah, my Titania goes over there. He plays his Shuri, which is kind of annoying, because something, yeah, something bad's about to happen. It would be nice if I got Shang-Chi, but it is what it is. Um, they are going to play. Oh great, they're going to play Nimrod. So Nimrod's going to be really annoying for us. Uh, just because they're probably going to try and destroy him and get him like replicated all over the board. Yeah. That's not looking too great. However, I do have Shang-Chi. Oh, but even if he gets destroyed by Shang-Chi, he's going to keep copying. Oh right, well. I think I am just going to have to accept this L. Um, I might just end up retreating. Yeah. Not very often you guys will see me retreat, but even if I destroy his Nimrod with my Shang-Chi, his Nimrod's going to keep duplicating. So, we definitely do not have enough power for that. So, GG to them. Of course, the very first location we get is the Sanctum Sanctorum. <laughs> None of us can play any cards there. We didn't even get a chance. Um, but next we get the Vault, which is actually fine. Um, just because can't play any cards there on turn 6, we get Mule Island, which is also another um, decent location. So, oh wow, okay, this guy just immediately destroys Titania, but I will give him my Green Goblin. Um, and then, who do I want to play? I guess I'll just drop, I'll drop Polaris, because I need some power down the middle. Um, oh wow, this guy drops a Moon Girl, okay. I might, do I go Arrow, and just drag a card over? Or, actually, I'll go Wood and then Viper, just to throw them off a little bit. Um, even if I don't win down the middle, it should be fine, as he just obliterates his Moon Girl. And he plays Bucky Bond, which, thank goodness, is not enough for us. Yeah, we send over the Wood. And this should be a tough one, right? A very close game. Um, I'll snap just because I feel like I win. Like, I feel pretty confident in this. Would have been nice if I went second because of Spider Woman's ability, but. Oh wow. They really thought they could win off of one squirrel. That's not gonna happen, man. That is not gonna happen. If they won because that squirrel ends up winning them the Sectorum, I would have been so salty, but thank goodness they didn't win. So, GG's to them. And I mean, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys. So that was a debris control deck. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And also, if you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show support. I do appreciate all of it. And as always, all